Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna share with you how you can start scheduling your sessions with your clients and potentially getting some calls booked for sales calls. So stick around. Camila Gornia here. Welcome back to Heart Behind Hustle TV, where we help impact-making entrepreneurs to grow and scale their businesses online and turn their brands into movements. As you're starting to get out there and talk to more prospects, you're obviously going to want to make sure that you can book them on your calendar. So you're going to need to schedule a Appointments. Now, there are three different ways that you can do this, and I want to share with you what those look like so you can just get out there, no confusion, and make sure that you're getting those people on your calendar so you can either enroll them as clients or conduct your coaching sessions. So the first and most obvious one is to do a little bit of back and forth with the potential client or prospect. So you would be emailing them back and forth, they would email you saying they're interested, you would ask them back when is a good time, and then you would put them on your calendar. I like to use Google calendars. You would send them an invite through Google Calendar with the information, ask them for their phone number, call them at the time of the call, and then do the call that way. Now, I personally value my time a lot, and I do not like the back and forth. I think it's very annoying. It just takes a lot of time. I don't want to do it. And it is something that I did in the very beginning, so I understand if you are currently doing that because, I don't know, we don't know any better, and that's totally fine. But eventually, especially once you start talking to people in different time zones or different countries, it can get really confusing with time zone changes. I remember when I first had my first Australian client and I was living in Chicago at the time she lived in Australia and there were definitely a couple of times where you know she thought we were meeting at a different time we were meeting at a different time and it was just you know she was showing up and I wasn't there or I was there and she wasn't there it was just very confusing so I do not recommend using the back and forth email system but if you do if you're starting with that that's fine. Now there are two appointment scheduling platforms or softwares that I have used and currently use in my business that I think might be a good fit for you. So the first I want to talk about is Acuity Scheduling. This is the one that I actually recommend for most of my clients. It has a free option which is very functional and it allows you to get your people on the calendar automatically. They can see what times you have available on your schedule. It sends them reminder emails. You can actually customize those reminder emails and it's just really easy to set up. It's enjoyable to go through. I mean, it's not perfect. I'll tell you, it's definitely not perfect, but it does really help. And you can have unlimited booking pages. It's just, it's just fabulous. I really enjoy it. And this is acuity scheduling is what I actually used for my podcast when it was active. I was booking my clients, my, my interviewees through acuity scheduling because I was able to customize the forms in a very specific way. I was able to have uh, links in the forms. I was able to have uh, them like check mark different things, have a lot of fields. Yeah, I just really enjoyed it. If you are starting out, definitely go with acuity scheduling you can go to heartbehindhustle.com forward slash acuity i do have a link in the description so you can check that out as well and the second option i want to mention is one that i have actually been using for less than five years in my business so as soon as i stopped doing the whole back and forth thing with emails i was like okay I need to find something else because this is getting crazy. I was still working a day job. I'm like, I, I would rather use this time to actually talk to clients versus going back and forth. I was trying a lot of different platforms. I mean, Calendly and You Can Book Me, I think it was, or whatever. There, there's a lot of different platforms that I use and they were all not really vibing with me. I was using Infusionsoft at the time, which I don't use anymore. So if you're interested why, there is a video I'm linking over here as to why. I wanted something that integrated with Infusionsoft because I'm, I'm big on automation and systems if you can use it if you don't need to do things manually why do it so I wanted to automate everything and I, I still am big proponent of automation I do a lot of the automation stuff especially for booking prospects and getting clients on schedule and stuff like that and uh, Infusionsoft was e easily integrated with schedule once so I do still use schedule once in my business for getting people on board but it's not something that I usually recommend for people because it is not cheap it's actually quite pricey and I'm trying to wean myself off of it however it does integrate with Infusionsoft off quite, quite easily so it does help. Um, the reason why I also liked it is because you are able to redirect people after they book the call to another page automatically. So Acuity doesn't do that. The process that I usually use is you know somebody books a call with me then I automatically redirect them to a type form where they get to fill out an application. So that's the process I usually use. Now in Acuity I couldn't do that. I would have to have people fill everything out right on that scheduling form which is not something I wanted my prospects to do because it can can deter them from actually uh, completing the, the scheduling. But you know, whatever, that's not what we're talking about here. So anyways, I, I prefer people to just book the call. It's com confirmed, it's great, it's on the calendar. Then I want them to apply for the application. And I also had automations that sent emails to them and 
you know, hey, you forgot to fill out the application, you know, whatever. Now, that's not something I recommend that you have in place because you might not be ready if you're newer. I just don't worry about that. That's not something you need to worry about right now. You know, when we work together and I'm your coach, I'll tell you when you're like, you know, when you're ready for that kind of stuff. But my goal is always to simplify things for you so you can focus on the things that actually make you money versus the other stuff. So anyways, I do still use Schedule Ones. There is no free option. Now, the other thing that's pretty good about uh, Schedule Ones is that if you have a sales team or maybe you want to spread the calls that you're doing with another person, you can also have another person on the calendar. So when somebody's booking a sales call or something, it can go into one person's schedule. Sometimes it's your schedule or maybe they can choose which person they want to talk to. So you are able to do that with Schedule Ones quite easily. And it is something that I was doing when I was doing my first retreat back in 2016 with Jamie Jensen because we we're both doing sales calls. So I wanted to make sure that we could talk to our prospects and they could book the calls with whoever they wanted to talk to. So that's basically what I wanted to share. Now, my recommendation for you is to just go with Acuity. It is free to start out with. Really, really helpful. And it's going to save you so much time if you're currently using the back and forth email thing. This video is a part of the Set Up Your Online Business Starter Kit. So if you are not signed up, it is completely free. And there is a link in the description. So definitely check that out. And it's basically everything you need to know around how to set up your business and your systems to start getting your clients very quickly. And if you enjoy this video and you want more, I do release new videos every Monday and Thursday. So go ahead and subscribe. I would love to see you and make sure that you enable a notification so you don't miss any future videos that I create. Thank you so much for being here. And it's lovely to see all of your comments and thumbs up. I'll see you in the next one.